Hi, this is Avian with KiwiBox.com. We're here with the band Kaiser Cartel. We're just going to ask them a few questions about their album. So, hi guys, how are you? Good. 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 Your album's called March 4th. What does that, what does that mean? Well, uh, March 4th is actually, well, it means March 4th to like go forth and be, you know, positive marching forth. And also, March 4th was a, a day that Courtney and I got together for the first time to compare songs and show each other's songs to each other. So you guys are officially a couple now? What do you think? <laughs> I'm going to go with yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are a couple. Okay. So do you find that uh, aspects of your relationship affect the music on the album? I would say, yeah. I think some of the stuff, some of the material on the album is about that. So it could be all about love, but do you guys ever have, you know, arguments and oh, fighting oh, while you're please. writing? Absolutely, just like yeah. everybody else. Yeah, yeah. Who's doing, who's taking the dog out for a walk? Who's doing the laundry? Did you forget the credit card machine? That kind of thing. Yeah. So you guys have basically, you know, a way of splitting <laughs> up everything. Yeah. Yeah, we pretty balanced. We're pretty, yeah, we yeah. definitely write the songs together and, yeah. um, we have a nice way of balancing our ideas out together. Yeah, yeah, we, we kind of bounce ideas off of each other and compare notes and really follow each other's lead, you know, wherever necessary. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So you guys both live in Brooklyn currently. Red yes, Hook, yeah. Red Hook specifically. Red okay, so I'm definitely, I'm from Queens and I know that, you know, the scenery can sometimes be a little crazy. Yeah. And I know you say that the style of your music does have a lot of that kind of feel to it. It definitely affects us a lot. Um, first of all, I just want to say my parents are both from Queens. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, but, you know, the things that we write about, the way we respond to our our environment that we're in, things that happen, yeah, it's very influenced by Brooklyn. And it's hard to really verbalize that. I'm not sure specifically how I could talk about that. Well, for me, I think I've always felt that it's almost like I'm from here, even though I'm not from here. Like I've always moved at a very fast pace, always been doing a thousand things all the time, very organized and mm -hmm. you know, making things happen. And, and New Yorkers are that way. So when I moved here from Indiana, it felt like pretty much the same, only buildings instead of trees. Well, you guys right. are really laid back. Great. Yeah. I've been talking to you for a while now. I feel so comfortable talking <laughs> to you. Um, you, you also say that on the album, you, you basically welcome people and tell them that this album is like, hanging out in your living room, you know? Yeah. What, what exactly do you mean by that? You know, we like the idea of being in your living room and being intimate with people and being up close with people. And but it's also be like being, yeah, being very real. Like you're seeing a real thing, you'll see interactions between us which is really real. It's not like you're seeing an artist that has been like, this is how your stage presence should be and you should behave this way or that way. You know, you're seeing something that as if we were at home playing music together and you're and we're having conver a conversation with each other that you may not see unless you were like had a secret camera you know because people don't usually share themselves i think that honestly and openly all the time it's going to be a frightening thing to yeah. do i think that's great it gives the listeners an opportunity to yeah. really feel close to you guys and really feel into the music with you. And we like to, at the end of our shows, we like to serenade the audience and we go around and we play a song to each person and we're singing and we're looking in each person's eyes and we'll literally like, I will be even closer than I am now to you, staring at you. And it, it just feels like really, almost like knowing someone without even ever having said anything. And you have this exchange with that person. You can see their eyes might be tearing up or you've hit them in some way that there's no other way you could have unless you've known them for 25 years. So it's like being able to fast forward through time in seconds and have that kind of relationship with strangers. And that's a beautiful thing. Well, that's great. I haven't heard the album yet, but I am definitely going to go listen after this. I'm more excited than ever. So I hope everything goes well on tour. It Thank was you great so much. Meeting you guys and yeah. speaking with you. Yeah, you. please. Uh, anybody can check out our website, www.kaiserkartel.com or be our friend on MySpace. And we have all of our tour. Um, itinerary there, so we should be coming to anybody who's watching to a city at some point soon. Yay! Playing at a theater near you. Thanks so much for having us. Thanks so much. This is Avian with Kiwi Box, and we just interviewed Kaiser Cartel.